From where we left off on our last video, I showed you guys a prototype, but I kind of blue balled you a little bit. I didn't show any sound, I didn't really give you guys that information because I said I wanted to wait till we were 100% ready. Today, we're here and we're ready. We're just gonna jump right into it. We spent the last hour or so just talking with everyone here at Magnaflow and this exhaust that we have on this car right now. I gotta be honest, it's exceeded my expectations. We've just been a whole bunch of learning and a whole bunch of science stuff, a whole bunch of tech we're gonna I'm, throw at you guys so today. Let's get a quick little overview. I'll put this underneath the car. From our downpipe back, you pretty much have a straight pipe. Other than that, you'll see right here that we even have a little delete that has two feet bands on both sides. So if we ever want to at one point want to throw in some mufflers to quiet it down, if it's just a little bit too loud, we can. You guys are also probably wondering, hmm, I wonder if they kept the Valvetronic exhaust so you Absolutely. can control when it's loud and when it's quiet. Absolutely there. So you can see here, Magnaflow actually has their own design that you can plug into the factory harness that throws no codes and no cell lights. So what that means is when we press our sport button, the it's car gets loud, and then when we want it to be works. quiet, it can be quiet again. And literally does exactly what you want, which is like one of my wish lists. I was like, please make sure yeah, you include please. that. Let's stop dicking around. Let's give a start up. Do you want to do the honors? All right, boys, this is going to be our first start test. It is going to be way louder than what it was previously, which was already pretty loud. So I'm excited for this. Oh my god, that was not sperm. Okay, let me just start off by saying that initial start was definitely caught me off guard. But this car, from a cold start, it does give a little high RPM rev and kind of holds a thousand RPM over what it normally does idle at with the valve closed. So the initial startup was a really loud, and as you can tell now, it's quiet down quite a bit. But I was like, oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. And keep in mind, this is without our mufflers. I need to get into it and I'm gonna get into it, but if we have these on, that initial start would not be as loud, but for boys like myself who just can't contain themselves, you got the option to be a little bit loud. Should I hit him with the sport? Give me a sport in five seconds. I wanna hear it from behind the car. Let's see if we can notice a change. Um, yeah. Oh. Close it. Open it. Wow, you can even hear the valve like close and open and there's a very large difference. Do it uh, two more times, I'm gonna film from the valve side. The valve is actually placed right here, so I'll stand over here, we'll see if we can hear it. Open it. Oh, that is amazing. Close it. This is valve closed with light revving on the throttle. The car before with that stock exhaust kind of had like a tin, sounded a little bit light. Yeah, little Dude, light. it sounds like a, a throaty like six zone. Aggressive. All right, let's open the valve, give me the same thing. With the car up on the lift, let's talk about more so what's underneath the car and what's new. From looking underneath, there is no actual resonator. We have a special one Magnaflow made us. One. So I think the main key points from this setup here is with the four different points of adjustment, you can make sure your tips are completely centered no matter what, as every car is a little bit different. So having the extra points of adjustment is just more customization for yourself. Typically, when they when this exhaust will hit the market, I think, I believe it's a three inch pipe going through, but because we have a down pipe, they gave us a three and a half because they learned on the dyno that that helped this car, which I'm sure they will be offering in the future as a special package. We go to three inch all the way back, and this is what's super special here. So this isn't, uh, to my understanding right now, this isn't what they're gonna be offering as a standard. This is kind of like a special thing they did for me, but I'm sure I'm working with them to try and make this an option for you guys. But normally you're gonna have, you're gonna have these guys two mufflers. Two mufflers installed in here. We didn't test this today, but we have some sound clips that, we'll, that we will provide with you guys. But the sound difference with these two mufflers, although they are a 
all, they said it is a significant difference, which is awesome. Yeah. So if you want to get rowdy like myself, or I like to take them little... straight off. You can have more noise. I want to point out one more thing here for those who uh, saw a little peek over here. You might see this little tip coming off and it looks a little bit weird, but what that actually does, and keep in mind this is on the side with the valve. Uh, this in the most basic science terms possible takes the sound wave that creates drone in this car and in a very non-technical way of me explaining it, it essentially creates the inverse wave. So if any of you did math and sign and cosine and all that stuff, it creates the inverse of that sound wave, therefore eliminating what you hear as drone. When crazy oh. science. One of the initial fears I think everyone has when going with an aftermarket exhaust is it gonna have crazy drone. Well, with this right here, it ain't gonna happen. It physically doesn't exist. Scientifically doesn't exist. So on the ground over here, we have a laid out version of what we just went over and talked about. So on this side, it's a little bit different. You can see here, this is the normal three inch version that they made on the Street Speeds car. And this is the TJ Hunt special three and a half inch, which I said, I'm gonna be working on you guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to get this on the market for you boys. And then it goes back to the three inch all the way back. This isn't removable, but you still have the adjustment. So like I'm working, let's this try to get the mufflers version, yeah. on there as well with the double side V-band. And what's awesome is it is V-bands. V-bands are awesome when they work correctly and it just makes everyone's life that much easier. So wow, big wow. Magnaflow coming in huge on the tuner market, being like literally, and I'm speaking here on my on my understanding, so correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like the first one that's really been made. There's been a couple of companies that say they have it, but they haven't released any information, any pictures, no numbers, anything like that. Today, we're actually gonna jump this car on the dyno and we're gonna prove numbers with this exhaust that we have. And this is the first of the first. There's already questions probably arising, when can I get this for my Supra? They're probably about a month out. I'm gonna be reviewing the exhaust, talking about things that I notice. If I notice any low drone that they missed or any vibrations that are created, they're gonna make counter adjustments to what I find with the car. The exact final product that they'll be releasing publicly is we're probably about like a month out. But nonetheless, from what I've seen is from that, amazing. So enough talking about science stuff, let's get to the fun stuff, let's hop to the dyno and put down some numbers. I never wear earplugs, but this car is loud and we have an inside, in-ground dyno. Insane. We're gonna do three pulls here, get some numbers. And you guys, hopefully this doesn't just blow up the camera mic, because it might, by now. Just standing in front of the car, it's like a rock concert. When you're at any concert, you feel it in your chest. You feel that in your chest. So here are the two main dynographs that matter for us. We have pre-exhaust and after-exhaust. And before we get started, I do want to say that when we did the tune with RK Tunes, we were doing 420 crank and we were doing about 500 torque. I think that's what we were guessing at. So this is wheel horsepower, which means that 420 crank guess was pretty accurate. Well, now it's even more now, but that's pretty accurate. When we first did this, because we're tuned, we're on 91. I think the original number they pulled was 366. There's noticed some knocks, so they put some octane boost in the car. So this is running about, I don't know, like a 93 mixture which is I guess more what you'd see on the rest of the world other than California but that being said on an initial run 387 at its peak and torque was at 340 but notice here so that's our peak number but after the curve notice 348 and 379 a really big difference after the curve and then with this with the exhaust system we did 401 which is about a 14 horsepower gain. And you can kind of see anywhere after about three and a half thousand RPM, that's when you really start to carry all of the horsepower. And again, after the curve, after our peak, look at how much power carries over. So think about it like on a track, uh, on like a track basis, not like a daily driver. Daily driving, you're like, you know, you're pretty much right in here, but when you're at the track and you're pushing the car all the way through, you're gonna be right here at the end of the RPMs. And because we're in eights, we were always super high on the RPMs. That's a really big difference. I don't think should go unnoticed. That's almost a 30 horsepower gain after your peak, which is 
mad crazy. Prior to getting this exhaust on the car, you really felt the car really fall on its face on the top of the RPM brand. You like felt the curve, you got your peak, and then after that, it kind of just like dive bomb down. And with this new exhaust and with the 93 on there, you really see how much more power you carry over. So off the bat, making a 14 horsepower gain just on exhaust is huge results. I do want to point out that this is with the straight pipe. When the muffler is on, uh, the car made two horsepower less. So all in all, with the exhaust, you're gonna gain 14 horsepower. Torque is pretty similar all the way through. I also wanna note out too, for everyone who's concerned about back pressure and mufflers and all that stuff, with the mufflers gone, the back pressure really wasn't that affected and, and it was better with no mufflers for torque versus with mufflers. So nonetheless, huge result, sounds great, has a really good tone, the back fires are very prominent, very in your chest, and the fact that you can quiet it and still have the valves on the car, 10 out of 10, knocked it out of the park. I can't wait for this to actually kind of hit the market and it's available for people. And I just want to give a little shout out to MagnaFlow. They're the only company, I guess this, this video it was like the first to kind of show it, but this is the first company that's shown its dyno numbers and actually showed its gains. I think a small play as to why that is, and this is what MagnaFlow told me when they did Super Street's car, which was not tuned and had a stock down pipe. The horsepower gains out of that was like, like four, so it wasn't too much, it wasn't anything really impressive, so I think my personal opinion guess as to why companies that are saying they have exhaust why they haven't really released any information yet is because honestly, in a car that's not tuned and, isn't, and doesn't have like a downpipe, you're really not seeing anything that's gonna get you a lot of power, so it just probably wouldn't really look good to say that. But we can confidently say that with this, we got 14 horsepower gain, which is exactly what we were after. I also wanna throw this in as well, because I did mention it, I talked about we did an octane booster because it developed knock, and they're actually, we're actually looking at the dynos from yesterday. You can see here on red, that's on a 91, immediately going into boost, the motor senses knock, and it goes, whoa, we need to be careful and safe. And then it had a really, really low, bad reading, and the car just didn't make the power. And then with the octane booster up, the car locks out a lot more and we have a heavy steady curve above. So I just wanna briefly show 91 versus 93. Fueling does matter. Everyone who's not in California, congratulations, you got better fuel than us. Red is a dyno pool with no mufflers and blue is a pool with mufflers. So as you can see here, you're getting not much of a difference from peak, you're, and like I said, a matter of two horsepower. Mufflers versus no mufflers, really not that big of a difference. You can't really argue about it too much, but having a complete straight pipe does generate a little bit more power than having mufflers. Let's take a look at how this thing sounds with the valve open on just like normal cruising. Oh my god. Well, I think it's safe to say we've made the world's loudest Mark 5 Supra. Jeez. Now that the exhaust is complete and finished, before we go ahead and leave, Magnaflow is gonna 3D scan the whole entire exhaust so that one, they have every, they have all the dimensions to keep remaking everything, but two, if there's any fixes or additions that I wanna make to the exhaust, like let's say I'm like, mm, like let's add another resonator here or for whatever it is, if I wanted to change any little thing to it, they have everything on file and they don't need me to bring my car back to change it because they have it on 3D scan. They literally have an AI version of it and every question that they could have, they can get it from the file. They're scanning the car right now using the blue light 3D scanner. I think that's what it's called, Calf, yeah. right? C CG, not AI. CG. CG. See, that's, that, that's why you're here, baby. Here, you can see this is our car with the stock exhaust. Like, that's what the file looks like. Look at me, I'm doing things. I know what I'm doing. Oh, so check that out. So then, if I do this correctly, the scan that they just did, if you, look at that, I'm gonna quit YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a job oh, here. God. Check that out. Oh, so this God. is the scan of the car right now. So you can see here, that right there is what the blue light, everything that you see on the blue light is literally transcribed on the, onto the screen here. So you can see the actual renderings and CG. Yeah. Yeah, computer, yeah. Of what it is, which is pretty wild. And I guess that's what this camera's seeing and this is what it's portraying in doing tech stuff too. <laughs> that's the, that's that's about the level of, of where my brain goes. But nonetheless, it's really cool to like see this in action. Any measurements or any changes you need, if I need anything, I don't even need to come here. I could just be like, yo, we're trying to add this here. And they can literally go beep, boop, boop, bop, generate it, make it, and I can just come pick it up. And there we go, we're ready to go. Beep, boop, boop, beep? I mean, more or less, just, a little bebop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we're all set and done. We're on our way home. 
I got our mufflers in the back. And I pretty much just took the first like 25 minutes driving home just like kind of really seeing what it was like living with this exhaust. Is it really gonna be that bad? Is it gonna be droney? Is it gonna be loud? And quite honestly, for this being, and let's keep this in mind, this is a 100% straight pipe. We got a four inch down pipe, the three and a half inch front pipe, all the way three inch all the way back. It doesn't get louder than this. And it's really not that bad. Um, it is definitely loud inside. There is definitely a little bit of drone. There's really no escaping that, even with the technology that Magnafull has. It's gonna be hard to shake that, but it's so tolerable. And if you really wanted to live with this on a day-to-day -day basis, you absolutely could. General population won't want this setup. We know that off the bat, but for the crazy idiots like myself, it's great and it's 100% dailyable. And I feel like I'm crazy for saying this, but I feel like, I feel like there's more power. Maybe I just haven't been in this car in a while and my butt dyno's going off like crazy, but it's hard to say I don't feel like I don't feel the extra 15 horsepower, especially up top on top of the RPM. There definitely is a less, there definitely is a difference in it falling on its face. It definitely feels like you got. There's definitely pep. I mean, at this point, we're putting down, we're in that 400 wheel ballpark in, in a, oh my God. This car needs to start doing some rolls with other cars. I mean, I feel like it's gonna sound real crazy out there. I know it. I feel like this car would be able to beat the 458. I'm just gonna say it. I have a weird feeling about it. I have a really, really weird feeling about it. We're definitely gonna have to test that soon, but this car, 100% with this exhaust, it's, it's pretty wild. It sounds great. It really is just, it's just a beast, man. Like, I mean, that right there is triple digits and it sounds mean as hell. I'm sorry, I'm just like kind of really hearing this like while driving for the first time. And then when you want, put it over, close the valve, roll up the windows, and I'm about to take a business call. I'm, I'm about to hold a conference call with all of my coworkers, and I'll never know that while I'm on the call, supposed to be doing business things, I'm hooning around in a 400 plus Supra. And that's the beauty of it. That's what really makes this kind of wild. And what's even crazier, this is like the first one in the world. This has never like been done before, at least not for Magnaphone, at least not at like this level, I guarantee it. So that right there, I don't know, it's pretty special to me. And as I was saying in another video, to kind of be a part of this legacy, be, be a part of this history, because the more and more this car is out, I'm seeing in the comments, the more and more people are being less, uh, less butthurt about the fact that it's not 100% Toyota and that BMW had a play in it and they're accepting it for the car that it really is and that damn, this car can actually put down some serious power with not that a lot of money into it. The tuning aspect of this car is unreal. And that's what makes it great. World's lot of Supra at the moment, cha-ching, make that a check mark. Sounds epic, sounds amazing. Magnaflow making some waves right now in the tuner market and I am 100% head over heels with this car, man. I will say it till I'm blue in the face. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm making tons of super content. If you wanna stay up to date with that, be sure to click the post notifications so you get notified when a new video is up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.